Can DC-DC converters work in place of DC-DC chargers? I'll explain why or why not. G'day, I'm John from Springer Solar and today we want to talk to you about DC-DC converters, DC-DC chargers, when to use them, what applications and the differences between all the different units. So let's get into it and have a go at that. So as you, as you see, we've got a quite a range of different DC-DC converters in front of me. Um, at Springer's we also have a huge range of 12, 24 volt appliances for your automotive applications. So please click the link below and check out our range of products on our website. Today we just want to get into and explain the differences really between a DC-DC converter and a DC-DC charger and what applications are best to use the products in. We do get a lot of people ask us if we can use DC-DC converters to charge batteries and we will answer that question shortly. Um, so we'll start off with just going into first what, what the main purpose of the different units are. Okay, so this one here is a DC-DC converter. So its main role is purely to convert your DC-DC voltage, okay? So this one here, it's a 1224, so it takes 12 volts in and it converts it to 24 volts out. The main purpose of something like this is obviously if you have a 12 volt battery, you hook it up to the input side of this unit and you've got a 24 volt appliance you want to run, okay? so. You hook this to your 12 volt battery, you hook the other side to your 24 volt appliance and you run your appliance off this unit. So this is just converting 12 volt to 24 volt. This is the main purpose of a DC-DC converter. Now, the other one is what we call a DC-DC charger. Now, as the name suggests, it is a battery charger, okay? So it is designed to take power, say, from your start battery and convert it to charge an auxiliary battery that you're running in your boat, your motorhome or your camper van. Okay, so this is the same as any other battery charger except for where it gets its power source from. Okay, so dedicated battery charger, converter. Okay, so that's the main difference is charge your battery, convert your DC voltage to run an appliance. So that is going to be what these products were designed to do. Now, like I said, a lot of people do want to use the converter to charge their battery because they are a cheaper item. Now, the reality is, yes, you can do that, it will work to a degree but at Springer's we're pretty strongly recommending you don't do that just because the battery charger that's what it's designed to do the converter is not designed to charge a battery it is purely what we call a power supply yes it will put power into a battery but it doesn't do it as well as a battery charger it doesn't have the battery charging algorithms, it doesn't have the smarts, it literally just outputs a set voltage, a set amps, and that's it. Okay, so certainly at Springer's we would recommend using these products for their designed applications. You will get a much better result if you do that. Okay, so, so we mentioned that the DC-DC converter doesn't have any smarts to it. So the DC-DC charger does, okay? You can download an app to your phone, connect via Bluetooth to the charger, which you cannot do to your converter. Now in that, it has all the different profiles of all the different batteries that you can charge, okay? So you can set a very specific profile for your exact battery. Uh, you can adjust a lot of the settings yourself to get it spot on. Also, it's got the cut in and cut out features for your alternator. Um, this one doesn't, okay? So this one, it just sees power, it's going to want to draw power, end of story. This one here, you can tell it when to turn on, when to turn off, all these sorts of things. Okay, so you've got the Bluetooth compatibility, 
fully programmable and will do it exactly as the battery requires to charge it properly. So now, now I'd like to discuss the other thing that we get asked a lot is the isolated versus non-isolated models. Okay, so both the converter and the charger have isolated and non-isolated versions. A lot of people ask what the difference is and why to use one over the other. Uh, look, the reality is the difference, if you can see here, is the isolated has two negative uh, cable connections, so they're isolated. Your input and your output negative are isolated. Your non-isolated has one single negative connection, okay, so it's a common negative. So this has three terminals, that has four terminals. Now, in reality, it doesn't really make a difference which one you use, they do the same job. There's applications where, say, if you've got a boat that you can't uh, chassis ground, then you really need to go with the isolated version. You're gonna have to have a negative in and a negative out. Whereas in some automotive applications, if you have a chassis ground, you just ground your negative and they're all common, okay? Um, but ultimately with a non-isolated version, your negatives just need to all meet together somewhere. Okay, so it's really just a wiring difference between the two, but they do exactly the same job. So it's not a huge problem either way. Uh, generally isolated is going to be the, the probably the more common one most people use, but the non-isolated is a little bit cheaper. Um, but the isolated, I think, makes maybe a little bit neater job. Uh, but really, performance-wise, it doesn't matter. It's doing exactly the same thing. Okay, well, I hope I've cleared that up for you a little bit. So if you want to charge your battery, strong recommendation, buy the charger. If you just need to run an appliance off a different voltage battery bank, then the converter is the way to go. So we help, hope we've uh, cleared up a little bit of that uh, misinformation out there for you. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.